it up first. We are lucky to be joined by Daniel Brazil, who's the executive director of the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. We've got Coach Creighton here as well, but I'll let Daniel kick it off. Yeah, I just want to say we're really excited. Um, obviously fired up to have Eastern Michigan uh, in the 26th annual famous Idaho Potato Bowl meeting San Jose State. We feel very fortunate that we've got two incredible football teams um, coming to our game this year and enjoying our festivities in Boise. And uh, I know I'm really looking forward to the matchup on the field. I know it's from all accounts, I, I really do believe this is going to be a great game and a great experience for the fans that are traveling in for the game and our, our local fans here in Boise. So really, ex really excited to have Eastern Michigan here for the first time. Well, I know I don't know if I'm supposed to respond to that, but I'm going to tell you again. It was good meeting you a couple hours ago. We just finished our banquet, and uh, we're really we really are we're really excited um, about being there for so many um, people. It's going to be the first time there, um, and so yeah. that's just that's super exciting. And um, you know, it's been a while since we played the Mountain West, and um, you know, San Jose State. I've been here for nine years, and and uh, you know, we've not um, ever run across them. You know, in in nine years, and know the job that uh, they've done, um, you know, playing for well, winning the championship and then playing uh, Ball State there and bowl game a couple of years ago. And and so, you know, it's it's easy to know when a program is is uh, really healthy and, and doing really well. And that's that's obvious. Absolutely. I know uh, uh, in talking to everybody around the country, you know, the, the other thing we're really excited about is having a uh, two incredibly classy coaches guys that do it the right way and um i've been getting lots of text messages from my friends around the country saying uh congratulations on having coach creighton in your game you're gonna have a great time and he's one of the good ones so uh hearing a lot from from folks around the country about the things that you've done coach and and i have been keeping my eye on you guys all year long and obviously haven't had you in our game yet so was hoping that we could could make this work and and really excited it happened that way. Awesome! I was chucking potatoes out to uh, the people in the audience. It was it was. That's good. what I heard. I, <laughs> I'm supposed to be getting some pictures of that. I'd love to see it. So that oh, sounds no, really good. fun. Yeah, no, it was. It definitely was. Before we take questions for Coach Creighton, any questions uh, from the media for Danielle? Wait, Danielle, thanks for your easy. time. Making it easy on me. All right. Thanks, guys. Look, look forward to seeing you soon. Okay. Thanks again. Bye. I appreciate you being on for the banquet. That was awesome. Yeah, no problem. It's my pleasure. Yeah, Take thanks care. Again. Yep. All right. I'll turn it over to Coach now uh, for any questions. Coach, how long did it take for you to pull out your phone and, and check on San Jose State and see what they bring to the table? How quick did the research start? Well, we um, we watched them play Western Michigan when we were getting prepared for Western Michigan. So obviously, you know, I was watching San Jose State's offense and our defensive staff was watching, um, you know, their defense. So we weren't watching the right side of the ball and getting prepped for for Western Michigan. But um, th this is not coach speak. Uh, they're they're super talented. And I meant what I said. Um you know, in, in the last couple of years, I mean, the, the fact that they in the, in the COVID year did what they did. And if you, if you guys don't know that story yet, you know, they were essentially off campus. Um, I think like the entire season, you know what I mean? It was like, it was unbelievable. Um, and then I didn't, you know, we didn't have any crossover games that year, but then we, I watched the, the bowl game with ball state, you know? So, um, and, and then again, watching Western Michigan, but we have not, you know, we've had people who've starting to break things down, um, but we, you know, just finished up an official visit and then came right to the banquet. So I can't tell you that, um, you know, I, I I haven't watched yet to to get ready for this. Uh, Chris, Tony Paul, Detroit News, congratulations. Thanks, Tony. Um, uh, first, are you guys just totally against playing on – fields that have green turf for <laughs> <laughs> yeah um uh, not necessarily um, but uh yeah it's it's gonna be uh it's gonna be fun to be interesting going to another place that it's not green that's for sure so 
Yeah, good. Uh, you just got done with the banquet. Um, you've obviously you have a banquet every year, but just how much? What's what's the energy like? How much different is it on a night where you know you know you're going to play another game? Yeah, like every every sentence, uh, you know, or every speech, you know, and yeah, it all had a, a semicolon. And it was like we're not done yet. Um, so we, you know, we have a lot to celebrate, and we need to celebrate it now because guys are graduating and. You know, it's just it's uh, different once January gets here. So um, we do have an end of the regular season banquet and celebrate um, what these guys have accomplished and don't do that much during the year at all. And so um, really want to carve out a couple hours to do that. Um, but there's there's great energy. I mean, um, guys are really excited. They really are. I mean, we're you know, we're, we're playing good football. We we uh, when we beat Central Michigan you know, we won the Michigan Mac trophy um, and really is the first time that our guys have hoisted a trophy. Um, and, and so it was just, you know, the post game out on the field and with the band and then in the locker room was, you know, a ton of fun. And, you know, our, we want to do it again. Coach, Rob Rubick here. Hey. I know your number one goal coach heading out there is to get the win. To get a bowl win, to get that monkey off your back, our back. What else do you want your young men in this trip? Because this is a beautiful part of the country. What are you hoping that they get out of this trip besides a W? Yeah, I would I would say first, it's not even the destination, but that's part of it. But the first part of it is we're, you know, the fact that we get to stay together, like this was not the last meeting, the banquet was, you know, this group would never be together ever again. I mean, we get another couple of weeks uh, together to practice, to travel together, just to be together. So there's, there's more, you know, memories to be made. And I, and I'm dead serious about that. You know, I mean, that is something that I want to get out of it. Just this group being together and, and making more memories. And then um, I, I haven't asked yet. We haven't had a meeting, um, but uh, I think very few people have probably been to the great state of Idaho and, and maybe even fewer, you know, to Boise Um and, you know, part of making playing football at, at Eastern Michigan uh, one of the most incredible experiences of our guys' lives, you know, when I break that down, one of those things is new experiences. And so getting to travel to places you've never been, um, you know, to play people you've never played, all of that, you know, falls underneath that. So um, can't wait. Good question. Have you mentioned the fact that the last two time, last time these two teams met, was the last time you won a bowl? You mentioned that to the kids about 87? Um, that will be mentioned, but, you know, honestly, we have not been together other than the banquet. And um, so that that has not been a part of it. Um, the part that we did mention is that within minutes of being named, you know, um, opponents of San Diego State in this bowl is that we're underdogs. So story of our lives. Um, and uh, so... The guys are well aware of that. Chris, Tony, again. Um, you uh, uh, you talked earlier this year, when, when, last time we spoke in person, you know, after you'd beat Arizona State, and you had the goals in front of you. But um, to just piggyback on Rob just a little bit, how big is it to get that? Uh, you've been close. There's been three-point game, four-point game, one-point game. How big is it to get that ball win? Oh man, it's uh, it's it's a really big deal. Um, it's a really big deal. Our theme for the year is to to stack them, and you know, obviously, one of those things is to stack victories. We've got five consecutive road wins that we've stacked, and we have three consecutive wins that we've stacked. And so, even just the the theme sort of coming to fruition and finishing the season, you know, by by stacking victories, it just, uh, it's a, it's a really big deal. And, you know, we've been, we'll have been to five bowl games in six and a half years. Um, but we, uh, and we've had, like you said, some really close games, but haven't won one. And, uh, I want those guys to, you know, to experience that, um, we're going to give it all we got. Anything else for coach? Yeah, just one more, Coach. You got 16 days until the game. Uh, 
what what does the workload look like uh, the preparation uh, before you get on that plane to boise um yeah after the world wide web crashes tomorrow because of uh all the people in the country going into the transfer portal um we're going to have to figure out how to operate without the internet because that's going to crash um <clears throat> but we got to recruit um <laughs> and we've got to prepare and then we've got to <clears throat> excuse me, you don't have to, we get to travel, you know, for the game. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be super busy. Um, but, uh, but we're ready for it. Thank you, coach. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Yep. Thank hey, you. Hey coach, one more question. I know it's early, but, uh, how do we come out of the central game as far as our health of our kids? Are we pretty healthy? Hopefully. Uh, the, the, these weeks will help. These weeks will help. You know, it's been uh, a week and two days. Um, and, uh, you know, for some guys, every day matters. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's a it's a long physical season. You know, we just honored um, our guys and our seniors in City has played in 56. It's a record, right? 56. 56 games at Eastern Michigan and has started 54 of them. Um. And just, you you know, just there's, there's, you know, lots of wear and tear, but our guys do a great job. We got a great, you know, medical staff. And, and so that's part of these next couple of weeks as well. We'll get some student athletes in here. We'll uh, let coach get back to the banquet, but uh, we'll bring some student athletes by here in one second. All right, everybody. I've got Dylan Drummond here. We'll start off with him and then we'll move to Taylor Powell next. Dylan, Rob Rubick, I uh, do your uh, color analyst on the radio. You've been to Boise? I have not, no. Have you ever been seen the mountains, like real mountains? Um, first time being to the real mountains was actually this summer when we climbed Pikes Peak as a senior class. It was my first time. Okay. Uh, what what intrigues you the most about this game when you found out you're going to play San Jose State? Um, I always like playing. Um, teams that we've never played obviously and uh them being so far away and all the way on the west coast i think it's really cool matchup uh to have the mac playing somewhere in the mountain west like that um i'm super excited to play in idaho i heard it's beautiful and um i think it's an awesome opportunity to see to see the blue field and see the the historic stadium there do you have warm clothes i do <laughs> i'm cleveland so i got a whole bunch of them oh you're from cleveland oh yeah you, you know what lake effect snow then yeah that's right yeah What would it mean for you to help give this school its first bowl victory since 1987? I mean, that would just be just like the icing on top of a, of a long career. You know, I've been here, this is my fifth season. Um, and I think that would just um, encapsulate everything that, that we have done as a senior class. And um, I know we can, and I'm super excited for us to do so. How quick after it was announced did you pull out your phone and start looking up their record and what this San Jose State team's all about? Um, probably about five minutes. I mean, I remember watching Western's um, defense go against San Jose State early in the season because we had obviously played Western. So I'd seen a little bit of their uh, offense. Um, obviously, I haven't got to dive into their defense yet, but I'm super excited to see what we're going to be matched up with. Tony, you got anything? Sorry, I was just on another call here, so I don't know what was asked. So, uh, I mean, just uh, I, we asked Chris the same thing, but uh, how big would it be to get this program? It's, uh, you know, first bowl win under Creighton. Yeah, like I said, it'd be uh, just icing on top. Um, after um, a lot of things that we have done this season that haven't been done in a long time, like the eight wins and the Michigan Mac. Um, to add a bowl game to that um, would just be awesome. And it'd be uh, super cool to add to the resume for the senior class. How does it feel to have a trophy in the building finally? Feels awesome. You know, uh, hoisting that trophy up after that game um, was an incredible feeling. And um, I'm excited to have that feeling again in uh, Boise.
All right, I'll let Dylan go. We'll slide uh, Taylor Powell in. Thanks, guys. Man just got some hardware, and now he's uh, joining you. Got an offensive uh, football there, right? Yeah, yeah. Guys, Taylor Powell. Will your folks drive all the way from Fayetteville, or will they actually <laughs> fly for this one? Uh, you know, they haven't, they've only driven to one game and it was Louisiana. So they're going to definitely fly. Uh, it's on my dad's birthday, the game. So I told him, Hey, happy birthday. Get your, uh, get your warm hunting clothes out. So. You ever been to Idaho? I have not. I have not, but, uh, I played, I played with Boise state a lot on NCAA 14. So I know the. <laughs> I don't think that's quite the same. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Taylor, what are you uh, heading in? You know, this year has been a roller coaster for you. Yeah. You know, between playing, not playing, playing, and, and everyone I've ever talked to around the program said that you were show such great leadership that you never pouted, you never got down, you never pointed fingers. And then you come back in the end of the year and if you're not the reason, you're one of the big reasons that this team ended up with eight wins because you played extremely well on the way out. What do you attribute your, I guess, your quality of character? You give that to Pops, the guy, the knee cutter, or do you give it to Mom? Oh, it's it's both. It's, you know, it's all of my family that that's back in Fayetteville. It's, you know, it's every – year that I've been in college uh been fortunate to start at three different schools um I've been through a lot I've been through I went missed a whole year after five games last year with injury and I missed you know like four to five games this year with injury it's just been tough but you know I football is not who I am it's what I do and my identities and in, in Jesus Christ so uh there's there's a lot bigger things in ball and that's you know while I've kind of had uh to deal with you know injuries and stuff this year uh just you know I was voted captain for a reason, and I, I think there's a reason the uh, the team respects me, and um, I feel like I, mean, I just want to do something that the school's never done, and that's the really reason I'm here. Is all I care about is winning games. So, have you have you been out west, uh, the Tetons or the Sierra Nevadas or the Rockies? Have you seen them? I uh, yeah, I've been in the Rocky Mountains before. Uh, I've went on a a church camp there and then I also uh my best friend I was a I was the best man in his wedding and we went on a bachelor trip in Denver so I've been out there Tony you got anything oh, I'm good thank you congratulations thank you hey Taylor you guys have done a lot of special things you guys are the first to win eight games since 87 you guys have finally put some hardware in the cabinet, what would this bowl win do for you guys that are playing your last game and being able to add a bowl trophy, which the school has none, uh, to put that in the cabinet before you guys walk out the door? I think I, I mean, you said it best. I mean, I, I came here when I was getting recruited. I wanted to go to a place that and, and uh, you know, leave it better, and I found it. I wanted to go to Eastern to, you know, do something that's never been done because I knew it could be done. and. Now we're here, right? And I'm uh, just so excited for the opportunity. And I know that we're going to be ready. San Jose State's a great team. Um, I've seen them on film a little bit. And uh, I'm excited for the challenge, and we'll be ready.